So first you have to open Design Space on the app. I'm using the iPad. Go to New Project. And then I'm going to go to Text. Once you go to text, you're going to select the font that you're going to use. Okay, so we have happy birthday here. Um, and I'm going to use the... I'm going to use the smart grid to help me out with this. Okay, so first I'm going to click on actions so that I can... Um, nope, I lied. I'm going to click on edit. I'm going to click on letter space and I'm going to decrease the letter space because so all of these spaces between the letters. So I'm going to decrease the letter space. iPad. It's iPad. I don't know why it ain't working. All right, let me try it again. Oh. I don't know. All right, whatever. It's not working, so I'm just going to edit it the regular way. So I'm just going to ungroup it. And so you see all the letters have boxes around them. <sighs> okay. So I'm going to move the letters over. Do you see these lines that come up that come up here so this is to make sure that everything stays in line this is the smart grid everybody see that so you can go to settings and you can turn smart guides off and you can turn it back on so if you turn it off then like i just move it over like this but it won't tell me that that's out of whack. You know what I mean? Yeah, I ungrouped it. It's not locked. I, I ungrouped it. Um, so what I was trying to do was to decrease the space using um, the, the edit and letter space but for some reason it wasn't working but that's fine because it actually made what i was trying to do work you know whatever so i wanted you all to see the smart guy and the only thing i hate about this font and i'm going to tell you this is that cutting it is a b word because it has these look these really thin um tails all of it every letter really thin tails even on the H, really thin tails. So I try to make sure that
If I'm going to use this, I put it. I put it so the tails can be welded. This is snail round. Something like that. Let me tell you. So sometimes I do have to turn the smart guide off so that I can move the letters um, and hide the tails perfectly. And when you're using the iPad, you have to bring your hand straight up because if you drag your hand when you're coming up, it'll move the letters again. And you will be so upset, especially if you don't catch it. All right, so there's happy. And so then I would select the word. I would go to actions. And I would click weld. And then it would be one whole piece. It is unlocked, which means I can change the size of it. But now you see that there's none of those thin lines, except for like here and there, but they're not as bad as that tail was on each one. All right, so with birthday, um, I'm going to turn the, the smart guy back on. I'm going to try to line it all up. But like birthday, it would have probably been... It is really pretty. It's a system font. It's already in here. Because I, I, this is a new one. I don't have um, any fonts downloaded on here. Because I felt like it was stupid for me to have to pay for uh, any font again. Which is the app that I use. Y'all looking at my ashy hands. Don't be looking at my ashy hands like that. Alright, so I'm trying to turn the screen sideways. So that you can see what I'm doing from the side. And I'm not blocking the whole thing. Is see you got to put your hand straight back up. It it'll stay. That light is just gonna irk me. All right, did y'all see that? Anybody got any questions about that? So I'm just going to move it over like this and then I'll go back in. But it makes sure that it's aligned top and it can make sure it's aligned bottom. Which is really awesome. Sometimes you have to zoom in to get it, um, to be able to lay right. And then, like, I have to zoom in, and you see how this H and the D overlap is ugly. So now that that's done, when you mess up, like you see how I moved that B to the end, I was not trying to do that. Just click undo. And then there it is, it's back where it needs to be. So, birthday.
I always make them bigger so that I can see and make sure everything is fine. Because, you know, once you weld it, it's welded. And then click weld. Um, and the layers panel is open, so it's taking up part of my screen. So I'm going to close the layers panel down there. There it goes. It's gone. And then I am going to birthday over. Happy. So, like, if I click on this to move, you see how the line pops up on the top. I move it down. If I move it over, it's for spacing. Um, so, it's it's useful if you're going to use it. Yes, I'm on an iPad. Um, some girl in a group named Destiny asked about Smart Grid. So, I just got on here so I can show you how to use the Smart Grid. Um, but nothing major. It's just really super simple. This is just on my iPad. I wish they had the smart grid on the computer. Like, it would be so much easier for us. But it don't. They hate us. So, anybody else have any questions? Oh, this is really pretty. Um, Did anybody else have any questions? Like, if you were going to make this into, um, what's those things called? A cake topper or something? That just comes together perfectly. Yeah. So, anybody have any questions? Oh, somebody asked me what the font was. Let me tell you what it is. Snail round hand. But that's an iPad font. It came with the iPad. So, anybody have any questions? Anything else? No, but you can do the same thing with images. Uh, let me show you. Uh, image. Hmm. I do not know if Silhouette has it. All right, let's use the pretzel. I don't know why we're using a pretzel, but we're just going to use a pretzel. You see, as I'm moving it, there's lines. It's showing me. Um, so if I make it bigger. It showed me where the center of birthday is. Let me show you again. It showed me where the center of birthday was so that I can make sure it's centered. Isn't that so awesome? Did I not know this was here? So, yeah. I like it. But if I wanted to like make this smaller. I don't know if this is a good one to flip, but that's what's supposed to happen when you flip the you're supposed to hit this to flip it, but it's a pretzel and it's the same on both sides, so it's like really not anything to not notice. Oh, it ain't flipping. But you can, I like playing around with stuff. But that's it.
All right, guys. I just wanted to show you how to use the smart grid. So if you're using it on there, it's there. Make sure that you um, utilize it because it makes things so much easier. Like sometimes I'll line everything up in the app, save it to the cloud, and then I'll get on the computer later and 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 use it. But you know. What are you doing? Nothing. Me either. You doing something, Mama? I'm not doing anything. 